No, would you just get out of grammar school? Uh -huh. I didn't even ask you, what was that, man? No, you're good. And what's it? Delaney? Delaney. Delaney. Okay, Irish. Okay. Oh, that's a beautiful dog. Look at that. But everything you want is right online. Is is this office more unsafe than the other offices? Open the door. See, look at that. <laughs> that's my. Thank you very much. No, no, you need to leave. You just let me in. No. You did. You just let me in. Yes, and you deliberately. Um, nice and cool in here. <laughs> what did I deliberately do? I just wanted to come in and get some, some nice pictures at the public oh, office. Oh, they it's got not, cameras in here. As employees only. Hey, this is the they only place I got in. cameras, and this is the lady that feels unsafe. I don't get that. We're all set. Sir, how you doing? You all set? We're good. You yeah. folks good? We're all good. Right. Thank you. Can I get your all name right, and badge? You. What? Can I get your name and badge? My name is Officer Golson, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a good day, okay? You too. Take care of yourselves. Yep, thank you. Good. All right, people, we are here in Sanford. Town Hall, Sanford, Maine. Uh, so far, going through this uh, Maine has been pretty damn... Uh, pretty damn crazy, I say. We found a unicorn. Timmy, town manager. Now we are here at City Hall. Oh, we need to get into the AC, people. It's mighty hot out today. 100 degrees here in Maine. We're 100 degrees here in Maine today. Gonna go. Employees only be on that point there. We got the voter registration here, which is. Just one check to City of Stanford. Find that this is the whole town hall. There's gotta be no. Oh, this is just. Oh, it goes upstairs too, huh? We got the treasurer here. We got it closed. Why is the treasurer closed? She's there. Just closed. <laughs> What's down in the basement? The rats. Wow, this is one strange uh, town hall, bro. Yeah, you ain't kidding. What do we have here, Crash? Marcus? <laughs> Yeah, that comes in off the street, people. We're going to the planning department. Oh, 
Which is small. Very small. You know, you know. We gotta get the candy dish, you know. We just sorry, you caught me eating with No, you're fine, you're good, you can eat. We don't need any help. Thank you. Hi, can I help you? No, we're good. We're staying on the ground. Thank you. Okay, that's not a public space. That's sorry? Somebody's that's not a public space. That's somebody's office. Um, yeah, it's not demarcated as employees only, so it's open to the public. Thank you. Oh, that's a beautiful dog. Look at that. Honey, honey is. the lights on. How did you do that? Stink pinky. Pinky. Are we gonna conquer the world today? You didn't call you didn't call anybody on us, did you? I tried. You tried? You could kill me and nobody would care. Why why would we kill you? <laughs> do you expect everyone to walk through the door and kill you? Scary people around here. Yeah. Uh, that's that's everywhere. Is that, that seriously? Is that a realistic fear? Every time someone walks in the door, you think there have been several um, incidents in the city hall with mentally disturbed people that have been violent. So, so that's that is an issue for me. So I don't understand. So are you thinking that we're mentally disturbed people? Um, or do you think anyone could? I don't know. I just don't understand. Like, for example, I, like, you know, the, the Muslim, like, some people have a whole issue with the Muslim community when a very select few actually committed serious crimes. I, didn't, like, I don't, like, lump them all together. So I don't know if, like, you feel like yeah, that it's, happens it's, to everyone? No. It's, oh. it's, it's that this is a public building. And right. it's a public sp it's a public space, right. and so people sometimes people that come in here are mentally unstable, and they are not in the correct place to get the help they need, and and so they, well, what is, they what get is, violent. Mm -hmm. And what does that have to do with us taking pictures? Of I don't know. I have no. I don't know either. I'm just trying to get figure out how you got from A to B. I asked you to stay out of Aaron's office. I, well, I went into the, the people's office. It's a public office. It's not restricted in any way to authorized personnel only. So this office is is not closed to the public, and it is the people's office. So I went inside the office that the people paid for. So I don't know how we went from you not being a fan of me going into a public office. And then we jump to mentally ill people are dangerous. I have no idea how we made that leap. I I was not happy that I'm calling to get somebody over here, and because I'm alone in this office. No, over here. If anything pops and, off, trust me, we'll we'll take care of it for you. And I'm a big guy. I have to take care of some problems if something goes okay. down. Okay. Well, thank you. I got you I, back. I appreciate it. You don't let anything happen to women. Um, and you know how it is growing up in New England. We don't let people hurt our women. You know what I mean? Well, thank you. That. I, mean, I, I can scrap. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nothing's going to happen to you while we're here. But, thank and you. you don't have I to. I just do. don't know what the rules are. Yeah, so, as long, if there's a sign that says we can't go in it because it's authorized access only, we can't go in it. Other than that, there's. That, no holds barred. Right? It's just she's in a meeting, and oh. so, um, you know, that's her workspace. 
the other, um, um, so listen, if she wants to demarcate it and put up a sign that says um, employees only, then no one from the public could go inside of it. On the flip side, if she put up a sign that says employees only, and then she ever let any member of the public in there for any reason, it's then again open to the rest of the public until it's demarcated properly again. But there's no sign that says, so we're good. Okay. Um, and and no, no one here certainly is, is going to hurt. No, you. Um, nobody's crazy okay. here. Um, well, thank you. Mentally, uh, anyway. Good. Good. Uh, you have a good day. Thanks. Can I get your name, anyways? Well, he's for the record. The, my name is Jan Babcock. It's, uh, my card is over there. Okay. It's on the door here. All right, Jan. <clears throat> Thanks very much, Jan. I just wanted to know your name. Appreciate it. Yep. And, and I'm the you are administrative the... assistant for the planning department. Okay. Thank you. These are just magazines that came to the department, but I don't think Aaron's interested in them. If you well, I'm, I, just, I like to take pictures of everything because something I don't know, someone else might write in the comment, oh, that's my favorite magazine, and it's... It's just a way to open up conversation to, to people that, you know, to, to connect on a larger scale. That's all. But thanks, Jan. You're very welcome. Jan's in there. He's like, what do I do? There's two cameras. Don't worry about it, bro. Go ahead. <laughs> it's just cameras. I, I, as I notice, there's, uh, there's nothing in here. I think that this is an old school. This looks like. Is that what this is? We already went in there, right? No, we're on a whole other side. Oh, look at the men's room. You got to make sure you go in there and sky that ball Looks before like you leave. Senate office. Hey, Chris. No, you got to go to the bathroom. Here it is. Men's. Men's. Jan, Jan over and she's intense. Is it freezing over there? No, it's just like we went in there and she was like, oh, you know, you could be one of those mentally ill people and try to kill me. And I was like, whoa. Oh. But things escalated quickly. I want to see one, I want to see one in, instance in life Maybe where I'm, where somebody filmed themselves killing somebody in town hall. I want to I don't know how many I don't know how she came up with that, but is there something we can do for you? Oh, no, there? you guys are fine. We're just oh. taking a look around. Jan was a little heightened, so we had to just make her feel more comfortable oh. and put her at ease. We okay. had to make her feel better. We're just taking a look around. Okay. How are you doing today? Good. Uh, I'm you, glad you, I'm inside today. Right. I was just going to say, you dreading the end of the day because you're going to have to go outside. It's into 100 this. degrees right now. I'm going to go outside, get in my air-conditioned car, and go to my air-conditioned house. Do you have remote start? It should be good. I do, but you know, I've never used it. Start at 10 minutes before AC. you leave. Then by the time you go out, that car is ice cold. Yep. <laughs> I do it every day. Uh, just 10 minutes, that's it? Yeah. Even less than that. I mean, if it's if it's a newer car, like mine fires up in like two minutes, it's good. Oh, wow. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Have All a good right. one. Have a good one, guys. Stay warm. Yeah. Stay safe. Stay, cool. stay healthy. Yes. Stay Bye-bye. No, I don't wow, understand. Like oh, I'm lost, oh. bro. We didn't come in that way. We came no, in. The, the we didn't come in that way like either. Half, and it's, it's really straight. See, I'm you took to me down that. Way. You took me down that damn hallway that had that left and that right. You know. You know. You know how dumb I am. I ain't got. I ain't got. I didn't even graduate from grammar school. We came in here. Oh no! No, we haven't. No, no, I'm good. Thank you. Well, look at the chain they got. That's a chain. Cool. Is, yeah. that, the, is that thing plastic? No, no, good. Thank you. Pardon me? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm good. There's Thank two you. questions here. Oh, that's, sorry. Is that chain plastic? It yes, is. It is. That's pretty See? cool. See that, people? I'm smarter than your average beer. You know, the interesting thing is, though, is like technically, I mean legally, um, it doesn't say authorized personnel only. It's just a divider. So we could technically go under or over that. Oh, well, he says no. Well, I mean, uh, 
Yeah, We're not going to. It's not interpretation, I suppose, right? I mean, because that could just mean like you're next in line. Enjoy the enjoy the experience. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just messing. Could be that. I'm just However messing. However, you want to interpret it, right? I'm just messing with you. Yeah. I'm just messing with you. But uh, there is a. There, I thought I did see a sign. No, huh? Just a drop, Chris. No, just a drop. That's for that's for you to put your dirty underwears in, boy. When I get done with you, Chris. We've already been in here, ain't it? Oh. Sit down, get some bed, and you're fine. We're, we're, we're good. Plenty of room to go. I don't know that there's another empty room. It's okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. No worries. No worries. It's not your problem. Okay. Take care. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
the nice pictures at the public oh, office. Oh, they it's got not, cameras it's not in here. Marked as employees only. Hey, this is the you only place I got in. cameras, and this is the lady that feels unsafe. I don't get that. Oh, Spartans. That's cool, huh, people? Oh, is that their team, the San Francisco Cardinals? I think so. Red and black and silver. That's a that's a gnarly color to go up against. It's been proven the colors instill fear. I'm just going to stand board over the superintendent's office here at Stanford. Um, I have two gentlemen who walked into my office with a camera. If you're we were looking for them see. earlier last year. Um, they were sort of refusing to leave. I was wondering if someone could come over, please. Don't forget to tell them that you let us in. Superintendent's office. Sanford and Sanford School Department. We're in um, the city of Sanford City Hall, second floor. Yes, they came in um, last year. I've never been here. No, I've never been here either. The police told me that if they came again, I was to call. Yeah, I've never been here before. <laughs> First time here. There's a lot of false First. information. Yes. Um, they're just not leaving and they're still recording. Just wanted to let you know. They're not very good as accurate reporters. I'm the receptionist. She's Deborah. Sam Boyd, S A M B O R M. She's Deborah. Hello. Hi. How are you today? Good. How are you? Good, thanks. How can I help you? Uh, so, I wanted to come in and ask some questions about the, the budget and a couple of other questions. We've learned recently, I'm not from here, that the school budget is lumped in the town budget. So, we left South Berwick, we wanted to come here and ask some questions. She let us in, and then once she saw the cameras, she, she started called the police. Upset, and I think she called the Police. Yeah, we don't, need, we don't need the police. You're fine. Yeah. I, I don't think so either. I mean, she let us in. We didn't like break in the door. Yeah. I was just wondering. Yeah, no, we just there's there's security pieces that were coming in in terms of that. So I, I, I get I get it. Listen, I want to keep my kids safe at school. To be honest with you, I think the the teachers should be two A and be, you know, should be carrying. Um, I was just wondering if you could tell me how much of the budget the school system. First of all, are you regional? No, we're a, we're municipal. We're a city. Okay. Okay. So. so. How much of the budget does the, the school encompass? So, um, my understanding is for every dollar that goes towards taxes, 43 cents of it goes to the, is going to the schools. Gotcha, okay, all right. I found it interesting, because I've just learned about this, and I find it's interesting the way that it's divvied up, and I think that it'd be sometimes even more helpful if the school is excised from, from the, the town's budget and it gets its own board of trustees so that way because then you're keeping track of two different taxes and when you want money for one thing oftentimes you can't get that money because the taxpayers are like oh we just gave this to the school why do we want to give that to the town right yeah. so in Sanford um, the, as a school department we go through and prepare our budget we start on, on, the, on the school side we start in November December is when we go through each one of the budgets that our tr principals and directors have submitted Jan uh, to check on those initial check. Then in January, we go through line by line. At the end of January, it then goes to the school committee. So the school committee then comes in to approves a budget at the end of February. It then goes to the city council. And starting in March, we have budget workshops every Tuesday with the city and the school. And so what happens is the city council has to approve a school budget and a, um, municipal, and a municipal budget. And so they go kind of side by side. Well, that's interesting, so, they found a degree of separation. Well, we it's kind of like at the end of the day, you're gonna get what the taxpayers are gonna get for a tax bill is gonna come in and, and be one tax bill. 
Right. But the city council has to vote on the budget, school budget, separately because in June, we just had it last Tuesday, we had the a referendum. So that our citizens have to, they get to vote on the school budget. Do you want it or not? Right. And so ours voted last Tuesday. The city doesn't have their budget approved by the citizens. City council just approves it. Really? Oh, yeah, wow, so that was something in the charter. Kind of they didn't have enough voters come out one year, so they don't have to do that anymore. Now, at the end That's of the day, at the end of the day, it makes sense because the city council knows that budget inside and out. Right. And if you pay attention looking at our workshops, they're recorded, they're videos, you can watch all that stuff, okay, and see exactly what's coming in so that now, I don't know if people do it, right? Right. I'll go out and I meet with uh, groups and I'll send out information on the budget so they know exactly. Here's the increase. This year for us, for a $300,000 home, your taxes were going up $309. Right. That's combined city and school. That's higher than I wish. I wish yeah. it wasn't that high. Right, right. That's an impact. Like, like we all do. Yeah, but it's we an don't impact, but I also explained this is, this is why, this is what you're getting. And we also go back where, as we get in front of the city council, I have to make cuts. They will tell me, as I present the budget at the beginning of April, the beginning of March, they'll say, okay, too high. We'd like you to cut it down by this amount. They can't tell me what to cut. Does, does, right. it, does it kind of suck? Like, so, I mean, you seem like the type of guy that wouldn't ask for more than he needs. Like, you know, you, you ask what the, what the kids need and what your teachers well, need. My mother was a teacher for 30 years. It's a balancing act. It's so like when right? they say, we have, to, we, we, have, we have to be able to meet the needs of our kids and our staff, but we also have to balance it with what the taxpayers can pay. And right. so we had to make cuts. Was I happy about those cuts? No. How do you did, did I support the like budget? Looking at it like, because like, you don't want to lose anything, obviously. You wouldn't have put it in the budget in the first place. So to kind of decide, like, what do we need the least? Is that, a, is that tough yeah. internally? Yeah. Yeah. We, one thing we try to do is we realize that in Sanford, you can't always add. Okay? Right. Now, what we do is have our priorities changed. Do we now say this is a, we have to start prioritizing things. And so now that we're saying, all right, if we want to keep this, instead of adding it we're going to take something else out right we did that this year and you know we have a lot of people show up to our meetings and they are unhappy that we're going to be getting rid of this or taking away this program we're all set sir. how you doing you all set we're good you yeah. folks good we're all good. right thank you can i get your all name right, and badge you. what can i get your name and badge my name is officer goldsmith sir thank you you're welcome. You have a good day, okay? You too. Take care of yourselves. Yep, thank you. Good. <clears throat> Sorry about that. That's all right. So, well, um, we were very clear when we got here that we had questions. Well, this doesn't happen the, every day. About the budget. Right? So it wasn't like we were like, oh, well, we want to sneak in. We said exactly Deb, what we... Deb is our extraordinary receptionist. She's on... on the, this just doesn't happen every day. Well, you know, so I, it does I understand. That's why we look at I think my only issue with that whole thing was we said what we were here for. Deb let us in. Um, and then, so when she when she called the police, she made it appear as if we snuck in. She said they came into our office, they won't leave, and then she said that they're the same guys you were looking for last year. I've never been here no. in my life. Well, we did have an incident last year. Deb's been here for all of them, so that's what she that's what her mind goes to when it comes into it. So because the way that the the I mean, police have a job to do, right? And you respond accordingly. If someone says that there is danger. They respond, guns drawn like this. They said, hey, this is just a little, then they show up and they respond accordingly. The same as teachers, you kind of have to assess each situation on its individuality. There's a huge difference between, I let these guys in and they wanted to ask some questions, now I, I think I'd like them to leave, versus they they came in here and now they're refusing. Like, You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's I'm, not, I'm not mad at you. On, on my behalf, you have your glasses on, they're dark shades, I can't see your eyes. You hit your cameras. Well, they're, they're prescription, man. If I take them off, I won't be able to see. I just understand that. We, we go through a lot of trainings and things here that we're looking at, so we err on the side of caution with that. I'm all, I'm all for school and kid safety. Sure. Most of the incidents that have happened were entirely avoidable, right, with response training and tactical training. I get it. I get that there's a clear and present danger. Most of them. 
and it's hard it better be safe than sorry especially when you're dealing with the lives right. of children yeah. but most so, of them don't come in and with adults, a camera right we want to be caring you know? be, be but it's all right i, I get it i'm not i'm not yeah. mad like i told you when i came in i didn't come in under false pretenses i had very specific questions and the reason that i'm asking um is because i ran for select board where i live uh, and the setup is is quite different so yep. now i'm doing research uh, for what works because it's kind of like AA, right? Take what you need and leave the rest. If you find something that's, uh, that works somewhere else, you, you get information on it, you work it. it. might This might not be interesting for everybody else, but I do my work for what makes me happy, not what other people think is viral or True. intense. We're but, public. We're public. So yeah. we, we, we come back into... Do you know the name of the person that... Was it like... Just were they news guys? Like, do you know the... No, no, no. no, no. This was... For information regarding the school. It became unsafe I in terms answer. of where that was. Um, gotcha. All right, well, so, well, as you can see, this is a diff much yeah, different well, interaction. Yeah, we're not as you can see, so, we've got a diffuse. Yeah. Yeah. I can right, see no you've got a hell of a you. tan. I can see that you go? for sure. I just came back from Aruba. I didn't go to Aruba. No, I just went outside, mowed my lawn. And, uh, oh, see, no. that's the word for me. Yeah. I mow the lawn and I don't, I don't get anything. Yeah. Listen, thank you for answering my question. Yeah, I've answered I mean, them all. I appreciate it. Yeah, that helps it. in terms Down. of have budget, a good day. budgets are challenging as you come thank back you. in to be able to, to look at that. So. Thank you, Deborah. What's well, interesting because, like, it, as a taxpayer, you're never in the building, right? Whether it's town hall or school board. So what you do is you, you show up maybe once a year and yeah. you say, oh, look at all this extra money they want to charge yeah. us. No idea what's behind it, how long it's taken to get to certain points, mm -hmm. what's been removed. And my mother always said, and she went up against Salucci in the 90s when they were doing teacher cutbacks, and she was like, the one thing you can't take away from is kids, right? That, that, that's the only that's place the where future. there is, there, there future, can't be a right? deficit. Well, that's what we invest in, right? Um, we're right. making things investments Absolutely. now is to pay off at the end. Or pay off later right as you look at that yeah. and it's changed probably from when your mother was doing this oh drastically the, what we're responsible for now as a school okay has changed it used to be reading math um, civics now we're also into feeding the kids the, the it's more of a social uh, services types of piece. basically right. yeah and I've noticed that too yeah. you guys, and that costs yeah. that's a that's yeah. as yeah. you come back that's not something that we can come in to be able to, to look at that do you right. allow retests on tests like if a student does a test they don't do well they could take it home do it again sometimes yeah we're not looking to for us it's about can the kids learn it to be able to do that we don't have a proficiency based style but we also so were they, not here to fail kids. I think that's like, but I mean, it, it takes away some. So in Massachusetts, that's the you fail any test, then you get to take it home, and you know study it, do it, bring it back in, and you erase the first grade. You don't even have a, a medial average of both of them. Yeah, I was going to say what we'll more do sense. is if you make it up, we won't bring it up to what you make it up to. We'll probably make it up to a passing grade. You know, because a failing grade, everyone has a bad day. I don't, right. I, you know, I, it takes I, I fail my share of I fail my share of tests. You know, yeah. you know what yeah. that made me do. That made me say, all right, well, for whatever reason, I won't be able to play football. Parents are going to be mad at me. Now I need to go study. It's almost like it's it's too easy. Like, And, and that's the, the system. Like, oh, listen, I'm not going to study for this test. If I do bad on this one, I can slide scale and get better on the next right, one. Right, right. So doesn't... like they don't do it the way that they used to. There's, there's pros and cons to each one with it. So. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank Thanks, you very guys. much. Good luck. Deborah, have a good day. Thank you. you too. Well, <clears throat> Deborah has to call the police. Yeah, Deborah made a mistake. Yeah, but it's a mistake that just cost Easy. that officer to come up here for nothing. Yeah. And, look how I and then he and then he was kind of ignorant, well, so people, because here, he wouldn't give me his badge number, but he gave my, me his name. So here's my my gripe with this, right? Say the people that came here last time were violent or whatever, right? Right. right. They had committed a crime. Now she's on the phone with them saying, Oh, oh they came in my yeah. office. They I won't know. be she able lied. to save it. So then the police come all geared up like Yeah, they yeah well they come in they come in with force, right? Because obviously cool. We got a call from oh, This is nice and cool. You ain't kidding, huh? Wow. Nice and this is the admin. Nice and cool in here, certainly. 
It's a funny way. There's nobody that it's the coolest. This is Stephen Buck, the city manager. Hey, oh, how are you? Oh, we got the eye in the sky. Are you I having a good the... day? It is nice and cool in his office. Yes. You must be very thankful for that. I am very thankful. Is the worst part of your day when you have to leave and make that two-minute walk to the car when it's like 100 degrees? <laughs> Now, does Steve, does he have to show up in a suit to work? Depends on the day. Uh, yeah, 100 degree day. Is he showing up in a suit? I hope not. Not usually. Good. All right, because we don't want anyone getting heat stroke. So he's the manager? The yes, town he, manager? Steve Buck is the, the city okay. manager. Mm. Well, thank you very much. Have a good day. Thanks. Looks like my Uncle Al. That does look like Al. I don't even know who Al is. Al Pacino. Al Pacino. This um, is so, I am like refreshed right now. Ooh, because it's hot in here. Those are just restrooms. Those bro. are potties. They're employees only. Oh, we'll I'm check. Listen, and we'll have, we'll have fecal comparisons. So they've tested all the employees. Uh, well, you, you must let me so, eat my, my, my Reese's cups first. Listen, they, <laughs> they have tested all the employees' poopies. So they know if it's an employee poopy or a citizen's poopy. And they're going to do oh. diagnostic comparisons. You know how they know people? The employees poopy. Look at this, two separate you got taxes attached to it. <laughs> wow, it is hot in these uh, hallways, eh? What happened? They couldn't afford the... Uh, I mean, they're basically all the same offices, huh? We got a purple one? All right. Look at what this sign says. The weather just went from 95 to 50. Like like it saw a state trooper. <laughs> hey, we got the... Uh, Uh, is this the town manager? I'm the city manager. Oh, the city manager. Okay. I noticed your picture from the picture downstairs. Yes. This Steve. is this is Steve. Yes. I was just saying. I hope you didn't get stuck wearing a suit today, 100 degrees. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't. You pulled the suit off. Very nice, but 80 and 80 and above, no suit. Well, general rule for me is I, I wear the suit, I wear the tie every day, from. Uh, Memor uh, Labor Day through to Memorial. And then after Memorial, I'll try that. Unless it's 100 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it's 100 then degrees. We gotta, then we gotta assimilate. Yeah. All right, Steve. Can I right. help you guys with anything? No, we're good. We're yeah. good. We're okay. just walking around, taking a look. Everyone has been pretty nice. Yeah. So I appreciate yeah. it. No, we have people come in and film from time to time. So and we the school board just called the cops. They're not under your purview. And they, they, they were misunderstood about the situation. But everyone else is very nice. Yeah. Any questions I can answer? No, you're, you're good, like man. That? We appreciate you. Right. Yeah. Have yourself a good right. day. You too. <clears throat> We're literally just speaking to his assistant and yeah. making sure he doesn't wear a suit in 100 degrees because we don't want him to get heat exhaustion. And we ran into him. We did. We did. See, see? We're changing lives. Hey, hey, Chris, you want to check the day? No. Oh my God, this building is a sauna. Wow. I can't believe Deb called the cop, Shamish. Oh, she's, she's a bad woman, she is. That's why I hate women, Chris. So let's go. We're going to my house. <laughs> We're in one rear. We're in the rear. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see double doors, huh? What is it? Why don't crash? But, yes, sir. We're going to peace out on this one, but on the next one.